Now there's something one doesn't see every day. Hey! I'll not suffer scofflaws yeah. on my patch! <laughs> Any last words? I believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an almshouse. It would take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. You! Stop! Hold you! Sorry to have disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master.
To business. Need something, darling? No. Rude. Can I help you? You know you can. Pardon? Oh! Jesus. I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought he was overreacting. Guess not. No. Oh. Thank you. Fresh a catch in town. Just look. Why not take a lobster home to the missus? Had him. Yeah, that's the out. idea. Reckless. 
You put us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland. Took a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word.
Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. You have succeeded. No, I have failed. My people are gone. Chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade. A sacrifice. And not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it. Where none shall think to look. And then in time. In time. What once was. Shall be. Again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose, and that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it.
I know where the key is. Then let's go! Yes, this is it. We're right behind you. Moment of truth. Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. 
but he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage love used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us! We'll find another way! There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest on record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it'll be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now, 
Now it's time that I played mine.
Alright, and I'm back, and yes, I'm still watching credits. I've been sitting here for fucking ten minutes watching these things, but while it's been playing, it made me think of something I'm going to share with you all real quick, just another little uh, side thought about uh, Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed 3. It kind of irks me a little that I started this being like at, I think it said 49% uh, through with Assassin's Creed, and it's, it, that just seems really shitty that they made it to where only like half of the game itself maybe even less cuz I in my opinion I did a lot of side shit and about half of it or maybe even less than half to them is only actually story that just that just doesn't seem right to me at all but um you know so that that, that kind of pisses me off you think that like a game like that like maybe 75% of it 70% 65% in my opinion, no, 60% in my opinion, the lowest would be the game itself, and then the rest could be side shit. But, uh, yeah, so that's just, uh, that little port. So I'm gonna keep watching this fucking credits again. Alright, there is something here. What is it? Okay, I'm gonna even meet my mic for this. Eh, fuck it, I can keep it on. Last little cutscene after fucking 20 minutes of credits. Jesus. I could have went to dinner and came back and still have not missed this. I swear there was one I missed, I thought. Good game. It's a good game though. Oh yeah, the hatchet. I forgot about the thing entirely. All right, now we are done with the. Wait a second. What? What? No, wrong. What? Alright, looks like we are not done with Assassin's Creed 3. I apologize to the people that only like the playthrough one, because this is only going to be commentary one. This is just all going to be pretty much one-sided. So, I apologize, but, you know, it's a very small part. <coughs> Apparently I'm not done. Are they not appetizing? Cabbage, lettuce, How am I not done? What the fuck is left? Are you in Come on, horse. <gasps> Damn it. Get the fuck on the horse. Thank you. Alright, well, let's see what this is. It might actually be a uh, DLC thing since I pre ordered the game. We'll find out, though. If it isn't, then. Um. I don't know, we'll just find out when I get here. I'm I'm kind of thinking it's going to be like Achilles and he's just like chilling saying, yo dude, I'm leaving it up to you, I'm leaving. But I don't know. We'll find out. I don't remember what the uh, side quest was called either, so I couldn't really tell you. Evacuation day. Epilogue. Um, 
Yeah, alright, I guess this will be a bonus episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It's not gonna be a playthrough, though. It's gonna be all commentary. I'm gonna see what the fuck this is about. It's an epilogue. I need to shut my door. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> America has no need for Send your services, Send them back to Britain gentlemen. in a box. Alright. Oh, shit. Y'all just gonna stand there? Death to the oppressor! down! Wow. Okay. They missed. I wonder if they missed on per- No, this definitely entails to, uh... To, uh... The storyline, because I'm still injured from me and Charles Lee's fight then. So I'm still hobbling around. What is going on? And now it's in the frontier. Um, let's go to the harbor master, and hopefully the harbor master is closer. If not, then I'll just fast travel to the fast travel location. We'll find out though. Where is this damn thing? No. It is way the fuck up there. I'm gonna cheat fast travel location. I'll say I knew there's a fast travel location there, just couldn't tell where. So my people are gone. I am I'm assuming alone because I haven't seen from Achilles in forever. Oh shit, who are you? Who the fuck are you? If you're hungry, have extra. No, oh, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Wow. Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> Does that mean? How could this have happened? Oh my We're god, dog, shut now. the fuck no up. No more merry English parts and labor, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say no. that what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring him back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? Seriously. Thank you. I'm actually assuming that these are all just moments trying to wrap up what's left of Connor's Thing, Be safe. If you were like super curious about what's going on with him, so we saw the British fully leaving. I have a new quest marker to go to Boston. So let's go to Boston. Just gonna get the center one, just that way, you know, I'm close no matter what. Instead of being too far, or too close, or being right there, or being too far, you know, I'm just directly in the middle. God damn it, no. So I've planted two of our pivots. Not easy for my end, believe you me. What? But there they are. You can see those two activating a buried one. Kinda. If you drop the third one we have, the buried pivot's precise location should resolve. Then go gather the hex cipher, rinse, and repeat. If you get a chance, I'd love to see Franklin's glass harmonica in person. Just a side note. Have fun! What? 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 What is this?
Um. All right. Well, I guess. Uh, I don't even know. I guess it's just gonna be an extra little bit on the end, cause honestly, this is only like three minutes, and I have no idea what the fuck that pivot thing was about. But uh, thank you for watching. See y'all next time. I guess it's actually over now, so I promise, no more surprises.